hi friends welcome back to laravel tutorial in this video i will going to show you how to add validation and how to customize the validation message in laravel 8 okay so basically this is the from and if we just click on this save button so basically it is showing error because email cannot be null so if you just check here this is my database and this is a student's table and we need to add the validation so that without providing any email they cannot submit the forms okay so let's add first validation and then we'll learn about how to customize our validation message okay so this is the full name email and phone so just go into here so we already created the student controller and this is the blade file that is the add student blade and this is my model okay so here actually when you click on the submit button basically this is calling the save student so we have already added the routes here and this is my functions so here i will not waste any time so we already discussed about how to create a controller how to create forms and how to submit that from so let's add the validation so here this is the request so we'll just use the request and we'll call the validate okay so this is the validate and i'm going to call and inside the validate method we can add multiple name right so here we have a name and then email and the phone so let's add this so just use the name and here simply write the name must be required right and then the email so email also want to be required and also the type will be the email type okay so normal text will not accept it will accept the validate email format and i will check the uniqueness so if already any user taken that email id will provide the restriction here so here the table name so here my table name is students so just copy and paste here and here just write the email that is the column name okay so we don't need this this is the optional parameter and the next things we need to add the phone okay so just write here the require so i want to add phone this is the simply required okay so let's add the validation message here so now if we just go into here and refresh this basically when you click on the save it will not saving but why not saving cannot understand so we need to show the proper validation message into this from so just go here and just add the validation message so here i am to create a span so we are using basically the bootstrap so we can use the bootstrap plus so span what the input and the alert danger okay so this is the span tag and this is the bootstrap class and here i want to show the message so right here error and end error and inside this error will add the error so this is the error for name so provide name and then add the message okay so now if we just go to the browser and refresh this and click on save it is showing the name field is required so if i just add a b c d anything so right so just click on save the message is gone but the same time data is also gone but i want to see the data should be there so we need to hold the old record so just add the value and here we have an option to see the previous record so just use the old and here just provide the name okay so it will hold the previous record so now let's check again so just write a b c d or something and click on save so these fields are validated and the records is still there so it is waiting for email and phone so let's add the validation for email and phone so same right so just copy email and for phone so let's add this for phone and this is for email and we'll also hold the previous value so just copy this and paste it here and also paste it here and use the phone and for email just use the email okay 
so this is from validation so now refresh and just add some names it is john and so first of all let's check whether all the validations are working or not so just click on the save so all our validation is appearing so just write here john doe okay so just click on save so validation gone and suppose i want to add any existing email suppose this is the email johnny at the rate email.com and i want to add these things so what is there so basically it is asking the email has already been taken right basically this validation is responsible for this actually we are checking the unique the from the students and the column is email right so if i simply write simply email so this is johnny that is not proper that is not a proper email formatted so just click on save so email must be validated email address okay so all the things we will do right and the next things i don't like this type of validation so write johnny at the email.com so here is saying the email has already been taken so i want to modify the validation message as per me so how we can do this so we can customize the validation message by simply overriding the validation message so write simply here so first of all we need to override the name name of the column name of the field that is email and the property so i want to use the unique property so when it will just go to the unique and it will display some defined message that is a customized message which i want to provide so right here this email is exist in our system okay so simply if we need any other things you can write so just do here and just copy this and refresh so if i just use these things john here that email.com which are already exist so just click on the save so it is showing the email is already exists in our system this is coming from our custom message so in the same way i want to override this message also so for full name require so just write here name dot require suppose here message is showing the name field is required i want to show the full name field is required so how we can do this so right here the full name is required or full name should not be blank okay should So now just go to the browser and sorry add a comma so now just go to the browser and click on save full name should not be blank right so just enter this that is new student and new student at the rate email.com and the phone number is anything suppose i am adding this so just click on save so student inserted so if we just go to the browser and check the database and here you can see the new student is added into our system so this is the simple validation example and how to customize the validation message and how to hold the value when validating right so please comment if you have any queries about this video and next day i am going to show you a more interesting topic so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye